for our eighth question ramya wants to have a sum of amount in her bank account for launching her own startup company okay she currently has 12 lakhs in her account okay so currently she has 12 lakhs in her account and then bank provides interest at the rate of x percent per annum assuming that the bank calculate the amount quarterly okay quarterly means after 3 months find the total amount in terms of x denoted by the function fx in her account after n years okay so if she has a amount a in her account at this time and she gets interest interest at rate of x percent okay assuming that the bank calculate the quarterly okay so find the amount in the terms of x so total amount p in her account after time x n is represented as the amount a 1 plus rate rate is what quarterly rate because we are getting paid by quarterly rate quarterly then this will be this and uh, how much years n years so we know that the one year has four quarters so n year will be having four n quarters okay quarterly year so a is 12 lakh also lakh then 1 plus what will be the quarterly so x is n m so we'll divide 4 and then 100 4 into n so this is the amount in ramya's account after n year if we calculate the interest quarterly find us so this is actually x so it is uh, represented by fx so fx 12 lakh means so this will be the 12 lakh and 1 plus x by 400 into 4 and this is the fx what is the second question find a function gy to calculate the required rate based on the amount ramya required for launching her startup after n years okay so this is a little thinking uh best question what the question wants to say find the function gy to calculate the required rate earlier we were given rate here and we were about to find the total sum now the sum is given we need to find the rate what we need to find the rate means we need to find x and you know that when we need to find x we actually talk about the inverse function and how to calculate the inverse function you know we just put fx x and then 12 12 lakh 1 plus we will replace x by some random variable y and then y so x divided by 1 you know this 4n will come here and this will be 400 plus y divided by 400 so y will be actually 400 multiplied with x divided by 12 lakh to the power 1 by 4n minus 400 so this is the inverse function of x and i can write it as f inverse and it is given at as 400 you can take common x by 12 lakh 1 by 4n minus 1 and the question is about to ask in gy so x represent we will just replace y with x so 400 y divided by 12 and minus 1 okay so don't get confused with this y and this y both are different because here y is random variable and here we just uh, we just gave that it could be gx also so we replace gx with gy here so x is replaced by y so this is our the answer for the second question thank you